What's up guys, Bloodshed here. Today, we're gonna answer the question, what are the best settings in Lost Ark? Now this is mostly, what are my settings? What the best settings are, completely depend on you, your preferences, your rig, what kind of computer you got. So it could definitely vary from person to person. If you want all my Lost Ark content organized, I have a website in the description, um, bloodshed.com so you can find everything a little bit easier. And then I have class guides. I'm gonna have at least the PVP guides all out before launch, and then I'll add more and more over time. A quick like on the video would go a long way in helping the channel grow, but let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing I like to do is squish my UI. Now, again, this is why this can't be the best settings video because it does vary from person to person. You might want a bigger UI. If you head over to the video tab and scroll all the way down, you can resize the interface 80% of the original, or you can go all the way up to 110 of the original. Now, if you're playing on a bigger monitor, you know, uh, you might want it to resize it depending on your needs. Um, you can have it really big. I like to get this out of the way and make it really small. Typically when you make the interface smaller, it's super hard to read chat. But if you go to the community tab and go to text, you can increase the font size as big as you like. So then you can still read what's popping in chat and you know, like you get the best of both worlds. If you wanna change your chat tabs and what items appear in your chat, don't click this. This looks like it's chat options, but this is like your actual settings, right? You right click on one of the tabs and go to chat tab settings, and then you can rename it, whatever you like. I named it bloodshed here because I thought it was funny. And then, you know, I like to deselect almost everything. It's up to you though what you decide. And then you have to do one for each tab. So then you'd have to do it for these. This is the system tab normally, um, chat tab settings. And then if you want to put info back and error warnings, things like that, Feel free to put that there, but, but you can see other people's things start to pop up. So I usually take off maybe info and then at least that, cause that's kind of annoying. And for my health bar, I have it above my head. That way I can easily see when I'm on low HP. I'm not constantly looking down here trying to tell when I'm on low health. If you go to gameplay and then you click on show, show HP, you can take it away just like so if you don't like it, or you can add it like I do. And then you can also take it away for everyone in your group from your summons, your guild members. I do obviously leave it, I like it on hostile targets. Um, so these are the two that I have for the show HP settings if you guys wanna just copy and paste that. Since we're here, obviously I like to show damage and show effects during combat, um, but I don't show recovery. It's like when you pop a potion or you can see the healing that you're doing, it kind of ticks. I think it's just more visual noise. Unless you're playing maybe a healer and you want to see that, then you might want to click show recovery. Under gameplay show and show battle and pet, that means you and your pet, this little tiny tab is kind of cool. So you can show your pet like so, right? If you don't like seeing your pet, you can just take it away. Goodbye, little bunny. And it'll still do the auto pickup. It'll still, you can still get the same benefits. You just don't visually have to run around with it. Especially um, some of the pets have different effects. You might want to use a pet for the effect, but not necessarily for the visual aid. So you definitely have that option here. You can also just take away the name if you want to name it and you don't want anybody to see it. Apply battle outline. Now this puts a glow on your character when you're in combat. I absolutely hate this but I can see in a raid set, look at that. Oh, my immersion just gets shattered. But in a crazy raid setting, when everything is happening so fast and there's spell effects and particles and you really need to see where your character's at, then this might be useful. But on the daily day, the day-to-day, -day, the daily driver, I, I can't use this, man, it's crazy. And then combat effects. Now this is crazy. Okay, so you can choose what you see from your opponents, from your group, from your whole raid, from everything, right? If you have it set to all, it's definitely gonna bog your system down also because there's more spell effects to process. I usually just do group bonus effects. So you get the enemy effects so you can see what's happening. In addition to enemy effects, only the effects of allies acting in an area as well as the effects of combat items and equipment sets of companions are displayed. So I usually use this um, if you guys use something different, maybe just do all the party effects or something like that so you can see what's happening in the group. Um, or you can just see the opponents, right? This is totally up to you, total preference. Um, I usually do go from party to group a lot, so let me know what you guys do. Again, under gameplay show, you can scroll down to interface. Um, I always show the item drop names, maybe it's an ARPG thing. 
So I like that. If you want to see your latency or your MS um, show network like latency, just click right here. You can hide it. You can show delay and then you can click always show right there and you can see it on the bottom corner of the screen. You can't see it because my camera is blocking it, but it's like right here on the overlay. This is really important. Display low HP. So this didn't bother me that much. But it bothered a lot of people on Twitch when I was streaming, twitch.tv slash bloodshed, okay? When you get low HP, there's like a sc the screen turns a little bit red, a lot of bit red, and there's a heartbeat sound. And the heartbeat was really freaking out people in my community. So I took this off. I feel like it keeps coming back though. Every time I click it, I feel like it clicks it back itself. Or maybe during a patch or something. So anyway, just take off display low HP. It also removes that heartbeat effect. And then I took off show tutorials. I don't like that. Gameplay show combat settings. Okay, so skill aim assist would be really good if you play on a controller. You know, this game has full controller support. You just plug it in and go. I had no issues with everything. But it pins your spell effect right on the target. So like if the boss is moving, you can't really lead the target because it just snaps it almost to the enemy. So you might be like, oh wow, there's aim assist in the game, but it actually hurts you because you can't predict where the boss is gonna be or anything like that. So um, uncheck this, uh, unless you're playing on a controller, I'd recommend, and then take off camera shake. Camera shake is super annoying, right? And um, if you've already played through the game, you might not wanna see all the videos. Um, I feel like I still mash escape during cutscenes, but it allows you to automatically skip videos played during dungeons and raids. So you're just on auto skip and then it just makes everything faster and more efficient. But again, if it's your first playthrough, you know, don't, you know, I recommend watching it. The story's chill. Also in combat settings, I prefer keyboard. So this, what this means is when you auto run in the game, it can follow your mouse or it can follow the direction you're running. So like you can basically, I use it on keyboard, which means I only run in a straight line. And then that way I can mess with my inventory. I can click all around and go wherever I want. You know, so it looks like this. Auto run, and then I can open my bags and yada, 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 move things around. It's, you know, I can delete things. I can repair my gear, you know, like whatever I need to do, you know, in the process. If you set it to mouse, then it will follow your mouse. Now this might be good if you're like, I don't know, you're exploring islands or wherever, now it follows your mouse, right? So you can auto run and then you can like maybe watch a video and you can travel easier that way. So that, it just depends on what you wanna do. But if you try to open up your inventory, you can see it, <laughs> it goes toward, and they have to move your, I guess if you move your whole inventory like this, then you can sort it. So that might be the best of both worlds. It's the ultimate multitasking, right? So who knows, maybe I'll switch back to this crazy one. I like to move with my left click. I don't know if it's like a Diablo thing or I guess with even PoE. Left click to move is kind of my jam. But if you don't like that, you can go to the settings tab, go to hotkey, control key, and you can take off reverse mouse. So swaps the left and right mouse buttons and applies all actions involving move, attack, interact, uh, sail, everything, right? So it just completely swaps the two. So now I shoot with my left and I move with my right. I think League of Legends, you move with your right click, right? I haven't played League since like a long time ago. But um, yeah, so whatever you prefer. For my homies out there that are colorblind, there's a few of them in my community, man. Shout out to you guys. You can actually switch on colorblind mode depending on what you need right here in the visual perception category. Also in the visual perception category, you can increase the size of your mouse all the way to large. I hate this giant mouse thing. Um, and then you can change the color, right, of whatever you need. If you want a giant pink one or whatever. I, I usually use the green. Obviously, I think like maybe the basic one's cooler, but the green in PvP I'm able to see right away. It really kills my immersion for whatever reason, so I go to normal here, like this. You can also hold control and scroll your mouse wheel to change the colors. You know, sometimes you want to low key, go to the black one or whatever, the red. So yeah, usually because of PvP I use green. I feel like I can always see green. I don't know what it is about it. All right, now if you are playing Lost Ark and you're lagging, stuttering, and you need help, you're like, blood, my FPS sucks, dude. This game runs on Unreal Engine 3, so in my opinion, it runs really well. It's pretty optimized. In addition to that, in Korea, they have DirectX 11, which we should be getting in NA at some point, the NA EU launch. So you get the DX11 upgrade, which makes it run even better. Lots of reports coming in that the game even gets better from there. If you're still lagging, obviously update all your drivers, maybe enable game mode on your Windows. Like there's a lot of things you could do on your PC itself to make your game run better. Um, but then we'll get into the actual video settings here. 
So we'll start right at the top for you. Display settings, resolution is a 21.9, so I do play on an ultra-wide monitor. Um, you get to see more vision, especially in PvP, it's really great. If you don't have an ultra-wide monitor, but you want more vision, then you can force the aspect ratio here, and it'll give you black bars, like how you can see on my video right now, there's black bars, right? It'll give you like black bars, but you get more vision, and it's really good for PvP. If you're not doing PvP, you can turn it off. It's really easy to do. I have messed around with the settings a lot, and if I had like a mid-tier PC, I would basically go to medium everything, right? Medium, all these settings right here, and take off anti-aliasing. I normally like this anti-aliasing in a lot of games like Diablo. I feel like it really does enhance the quality, but in Lost Ark, I feel like it just decreases my performance, and I don't really see the benefit. Like, I've tested both, reset my game, and I can't really tell. Maybe you guys can tell the difference, but let me know in the comments if you can. I play on a 3070 Ti right now, I believe. So I usually have everything best or high. Um, I did lower my particles just a little bit and everything else is on best here. Enhanced shader quality, again, just remove stuff if you're struggling. Motion blur, I hate motion blur with the passion in every game I ever play. I don't know why it's always there. I don't know what these developers think, man. What, what are they doing? What are they doing? Post-processing, all this will bog your system down. Um, I just take off the blur. Again, I hate the blur stuff but I left everything else on there. So it's, you know, I'm a streamer too, and I have a dual PC setup. So one's dedicated for playing the game and one's dedicated for rendering the video. So it's a little bit easier for me. We talked about controller earlier. If you are playing on a controller, there's you can customize literally everything with the controller, even like the vibration of certain things. So definitely take your time through that. And obviously on PC, there's hotkeys for almost everything. Now, there is some limitations with what Lost Ark lets you change, but you can change it like if you have a third-party program like um, a Razer Synapse program, right? You can change all your hotkeys to whatever you want, and then that'll change it in-game. That's probably what I'm going to do is just change my Razer profile to match however, whatever skills I want in any location on my keyboard. Another little touch, you can track whatever currency. Just click on Depository in the top left, and you can track what, a lot of different things in the top if you want. And on the right side, you can edit widget, so you can take away, like, let's say you don't want the, let's take away the search, and then you can add something like a selfie camera if you want. And now you have, like, these little hotkeys up here, right? You can take away that, and then put the search back, and then you can put it in any order you desire as well. So it's kind of nice to have the item codex right here if you need it, or the compass, or however order you want to do PvP or anything like that. I think that covers most of the things that I do. Again, if you do anything else specifically, put it in the comments below. Um, I didn't want to cover every single detail. This video is already going to be way too long, probably. And I want you guys to be able to digest everything and take something away from it. That's going to be all for me today. Again, if you could, if you got something out of the video, hit the like button. It helps me a lot. And this is it. That's it. This is Bloodshed, and I'm out of here. Peace.